1 million euros for WordProof, Wax Atomic Hub for NFTs launches and Capcom Street Fighter is coming, and lots more. I'm Daniel Keyes, and this is episode 62 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on SoundCloud or your favorite podcast player, or read it at eosnation.io. That's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter to get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. However you prefer it, help spread the sauce by smashing that like, ringing that bell, and giving us a 5-star rating. Let's get to this week's spicy goodness. Some awesome news for one of our favorite EOS dApps, WordProof. This week, we learned that EOS community favorite WordProof outcompeted 171 teams from 43 countries to collect a 1 million euro prize. Congratulations to the entire WordProof team for such an outstanding accomplishment. The European Innovation Council's Prize on Blockchains for Social Good awarded a total of 5 million euro to socially innovative blockchain solutions in the categories of traceability and fair trade, financial inclusion, aid and philanthropy, decentralized circular economy, energy, and quality content, which WordProof won. WordProof also made the news recently when it won 50,000 US dollars from the EOS VC Block 1 grant, and again when it received 275,000 US dollars in financing from the Nord Holland Innovation Fund for the development of technologies to better protect data on the internet. With all of this funding secured, we reached out to WordProof CEO Sebastian Vanderlands to ask what's next for this fast growing startup. Here's what he had to say With the prize from the EU comes both recognition and leverage for the journey ahead. With Europe as a partner, we can scale up faster and bring the web the layer of trust that we all deserved. Firstly, we will build both inbound and outbound marketing department focusing on adoption, delivering timestamp use cases in different niches, and on different platforms. Starting with publishers and e-commerce. Secondly, as we believe that timestamping is the key to blockchain mass adoption, we'll heavily invest in content marketing to educate the world on blockchain timestamping and how blockchain can help in both fixing online fraud and fake news. WordProof Academy is coming in Q3. Thirdly, we'll focus on advocacy in both schema.org, this is one of the standard search engines and social media platforms used for parsing data, as in governmental adoption and development of regulation around timestamping content. Smash the like if you're excited about timestamping on the blockchain. And now for some news from the world of WAX. Congratulations to Pink Network for the successful launch of Atomic Assets 1.0 a new EOSIO NFT standard and the first worker proposal funded by the Wax Labs. Atomic Assets 1.0 makes creating NFTs fun and easy, introduces a user-friendly RAM solution, two-sided trade offers, and great opportunities for marketplaces. We've already laid out these innovative design principles in episode 57 of the EOS Hot Sauce, but we discovered some additional functionalities while exploring the actual release, such as backing of NFTs with tokens or sharing NFTs per link. The Atomic Assets NFT Creator Guide gives a simple instruction on how to create NFTs and organize them via customizable collections, schemas, attributes, and templates. We already see many users making good use of it. Anyone interested in learning more about Atomic Assets and Pink Network can check out the recent interview with the co-founder Jonah Wilmsman. You'll find that linked in the written edition of this episode. To celebrate the successful launch, Wax started a giveaway of 5,000 Wax tokens, and all you need to do to join is create an NFT at go.wax.io slash Atomic Hub Creator, send it to a friend or community member, and reply with the URL of your transaction under the giveaway tweet. The Atomic Assets Hub empowers everyone to easily create digital collectibles, trade them for profit, and explore the opportunities of NFTs, which can be far more than just game assets on the blockchain. The potential of NFTs for the creative industry or artists, for example, is laid out in a solid Twitter thread we recently discovered and promoted. You'll find that in the written edition of this episode. Those more interested in trading already established collectibles such as the iconic NFTs of Topps better get ready for the next sale. On July 8th, the much-anticipated Topps Garbage Pail Kids Tiger King packs will go live, and we heard that there will be a total of 240,000 cards available. Considering the ongoing hype and how quickly the first series sold out, there might be just a small window of opportunity for getting them in the primary sale. And we're not done yet with Wax news, because Wax wouldn't be Wax without plenty of great news. This week's big announcement was about Capcom, a major player in the gaming sector mostly known for Street Fighter, an absolute classic in competitive gaming. And it's coming to Wax, again introducing a mainstream audience and fan base to the blockchain. The Wax team tweeted, Hadouken! Capcom Street Fighter is coming to Wax. More details on Wax Street Fighter collectibles are coming soon. Stay tuned. We're excited to learn more details about this new partnership and once again congratulate the Wax team on their business development strategy. Next up, we have some news from Block One. 
Finance Magnets published an article sharing additional details about Block One's partnership with Northern Data that was recently announced. Blockchain infrastructure firm Northern Data announced today it has signed 180 megawatt of capacity with a new customer. The company revealed that its most recent customer is Bitcoin mining operation backed by blockchain powerhouse Block One, with an initial 180 megawatt volume and an upsize option to 300 megawatts, which Northern Data signed today and which shall go live in early 2021. Brendan Bloomer, CEO of Block One, was quoted. Block One's focus on leveraging EOSIO to bring increased scalability and transparency to the greater blockchain industry led us to Northern Data and their strategic market positioning and strong leadership. We're excited to be collaborating with them to introduce unprecedented Bitcoin mining solutions powered by EOSIO. In other Block One news, we also saw seven new block producers receiving votes this week. Congratulations to EOS.Wiki, Binance, Crypto Lions, HK EOS, EOSphere, Acro EOS, and EOS Dublin. Up next, we've got some DAP network news. The Liquid Apps team keeps showing a high level of productivity as they brought new functionalities to the DAP network, updated already existing ones, and introduced a new service for cross chain data transfers with Liquid Brinks. All in all, a whole lot to make the life of blockchain developers easier. Let's take a look at the new features. First, Liquid Brinks is a new service that allows users to move tokens between chains by combining VRAM, Liquid Scheduler, and Liquid Oracles. But moving a token is just one use case for Liquid Brinks, and you'll find a selection of other potential use cases in the introduction article, along with the opportunity to vote on which one you'd want to see built first. DAP permissions is another new feature. The flexible permission structure is a very useful feature of EOSIO, and now the DAP network supports special DAP level permissions, allowing the DSPs to assign a specific set of keys for signing service-related transactions. And then there's Diffuse integration. Thanks to the integration of Diffuse, DSPs don't need to run their own state history node, but instead can utilize Diffuse API key. This potentially makes blockchain data queries a lot easier for DSPs. And finally, there's inflation rate tuning by the DAP network community. By enabling different inflation rates as part of the service package parameters, DSPs can provide their users with the ability to take an active part in tuning the inflation. The content output of the Liquid Apps team is also impressive. In a recent DAP Talk episode, David Benchimal explained some of the new features, while CEO Benny Hakak and CTO Tal Muscal sat down for a fireside chat, discussing some of the general aspects of Liquid Apps architecture. Block One also decided to shine the spotlight on Liquid Apps, featuring them in the latest Built on EOSIO episode. Can't get enough? Check out Benny Hakak's recent Cointelegraph article, or the great interview he gave Charlie Schramm for his famous Untold Stories podcast. Tune in to hear about Benny's thoughts on EOS, scalability, and dApps. We've linked to all of that content I mentioned in the written edition of this episode at eosnation.io. Smash the like if you plan to check some of that out after the show. Next up, we have some news from Shintai. This week on Everything EOS, we got to learn more about the progress the Shintai team has been making and the projects they've been currently working on. Tune into the video we shared in the written edition to see the guys discuss the live leasing market, the upcoming pooling market, Chex, the upcoming Chex staking utility, pooling markets coming to WAX, and their Singapore securities license process, which is ongoing and expected to be successful. The team praises EOSIO Tech for allowing the performance needed to obtain the Singapore license, unlike Polymath, who were rejected for the same license due to protocol limitations. Next up, we've got another update on the Anchor Wallet. This comes from a tweet from Graymass. Graymass Fuel is now included of our wallet kit, Anchor Link, as of version 2.1.2. Any EOS application that integrates with Anchor can now take advantage of Fuel for 5 milliseconds of free transactions each day. And let's wrap this episode up with some Werbly news. O1 Special Situations Group recently completed the acquisition of the Werbly Foundation assets and have announced the launch of the UX network on July 30th. This compliance-driven EOSIO Enterprise Public Blockchain plans on implementing a proprietary Portage KYC solution, and will also allocate UX tokens to current Werbly token holders based on the upcoming July 10th snapshot. And that's all for this week's episode of EOS Hot Sauce. We've got more spicy goodness for you every week, so subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for the next one. And if you can't wait till next week, find our previous episodes at eosnation.io or on our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.